Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, Toyota Corolla 1.6 This is a 2006, I'm gonna be changing the oil, the oil filter Just gonna top up some uh, screen wash fluid and check the coolant level uh, Perhaps the coolant antifreeze percentage I'm gonna start by topping up the screen wash fluid which is in that blue top here now we can get any um, screen wash liquid from any garage um, you can get it already mixed or you can buy concentrated one and mix it yourself Okay, um, once we top that up, we can move on to the coolant. Now the coolant, you can just about see it's in that container. The light may help a little bit to distinguish the color so it's pink and you have a little uh, full line there so that's where your coolant should be really at the full, full line and then you also have the uh, the low the low line a little bit below down there so you have the low and the full and your coolant ideally will be on full and using one of these gadgets here we can check the uh, percentage of the coolant So if we can see that, that is showing, okay, so this gauge indicates the percentage, so this is about minus 34 degrees C. Which means that that coolant uh, can resist up to those temperatures. It, it will freeze anything above well anything below minus 35 okay so our coolant is good percentage is good and it looks clean as well um, now we can move on to the oil and the oil filter and for that I'm just going to pull the dipstick open and also I'm going to open the oil filler cap and I'm just going to leave them there to allow some air to come in while we drain the oil from underneath We're also going to need one of these to remove the oil filter and the size of this is uh, this has got two sizes if you can see here the division but it's between 65, 67 and then 14 
and that's our oil filter that's the one I'm using blueprint ADT32109 for this car right let's get the car up and drain the oil okay so get yourself an oil pan and uh, that's why we have the sun plug on this side we have the, the gearbox and uh, this is the, the engine's sump so I have a 14 mil socket just crack that open and remember if the engine is being running that oil can be very hot so be careful not to burn yourself Now the, um, the washer stay there, so just make sure you remove it. Okay, and now while that is draining, we can also remove the oil filter, which is hiding just there, just in front of the engine. Just I'll see it. Again, make sure you have the oil pan under the filter because some oil will drip from there. And hopefully that filter won't be too tight. But it can be a bit messy. Okay. Now we can fit our new filter. I just wanted to show the uh, little bit the surface of the where the filter goes. And so what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit. Swipe it off a little bit with some plain paper. Okay, so I've got my new filter here, and I just apply a little bit of grease here to the O-ring. Um, you can you can put a little bit of oil, the oil that you will use for the car, if you haven't got grease. And we can get that filter back in there and just uh, tighten it by hand. So just tighten it as uh, as much as you can by hand. I think the recommended torque is uh, around 17 newton meters, which is not a lot of force, so don't use the tools to tighten that. Um, also, just like to mention that there's a possibility that there could be a cover under this sump, which might be missing in this car. But I'm just saying because I can see some holes here where there could have been a cover just in case you find yourself you have a cover and <clears throat> you're a bit unsure so you would just have to remove it it's usually some few clips that need to be undone and that's it so um, now I'm gonna get uh, my sand plug and a new washer So 
So I just have a new uh, copper washer there. Gonna fit that in. And we can just tighten that. Again, not a lot of force on that. We can just uh, clean the area a little bit, just using some brake fluid cleaner. And we're done. Well, if you have a cover, fit the cover back and um, I'm going to lower the car and top up some oil in it. So, now we're ready to top up some oil. If you look at your manual, specifications, um, engine lubrication, oil capacity. Um, this engine is a 3ZZ FE, um, which also applies for the 4ZZ. Now it says here with filter and without filter. So with filter 4.2 liters of oil, without filter 4 liters. And also they recommend oil grades, gasoline engine. You have a 20W50, 15W40, um, or 10W30, 5W30, NG, en energy conserving. Um, well, if you look at the charts here of the temperatures, um, you can also choose your oil going by these charts but uh, I'm going to be using 5W30 and 4.2 litres so here in the UK the temperatures are not extreme maybe minus so here in the UK, the temperatures are not extreme. Maybe minus 10, minus 15, if you're uh, in Scotland, but um, in London, maybe minus 10, so this covers that range anyway. And also, also it covers quite a high range in, in the heat which again, um, although today is 30 degrees here in London, um, uh, this, this oil is, uh, it also covers that, that temperature. So if you look at the chart here, and you look at the degrees centigrade, it says minus 29, and this is 38 degrees. Um, 5W30 goes above 38, and it goes below 29. 10W30 is more at minus 18, and plus 38, and also this one's here. Uh, but that one, 20W50 minus 7, minus 7, so if we do have a temperatures of minus 15, then it won't be suitable. It'll just be too thick and could kill your battery eventually. Now we can quickly look at the uh, the dipstick. The dipstick has two dots, one for minimum, one for maximum. Um, if you were checking your oil, you want to be somewhere in between here. If you're changing your oil, you aim aiming to be at the max. So looking at uh, our quantities. If that can be seen, we're just above the max. We're up to a little bit here, maybe. Just above the max. Um, and that's because um, that little extra will go into the oil filter. 
and when you after you run the engine if you check your oil again that should have gone down to the max dot um, do remember to dispose of your oil and oil filters in a environmentally friendly way you can take them to your um, local dis disposal uh, council service or something like that and um, that's pretty much it so I hope this video helps and thanks for watching